Okay, so I am back again with this, turning all sims into vampires. And I just went through the painstaking process of making her a player because if I didn't do that, there was already some jealousy issues going on in the house. Like this guy, she was kissing somebody else. So consequently, he's jealous. Now with the player trait, that won't happen anymore. She could go kiss him in front of everybody and no one will have a problem with it. And then she could go and kiss him and no one will have a problem with that either. So we got this. I also did a little bit of a makeover on their apartment here because now that I had the money to do that, everyone has their own room pretty much except her. She has this bed. Caleb has this one. The other two vampires have these two beds and he's going to go cry in his. <laughs> And then the spellcaster Morgan Ember has this bed and Realm of Magic stuff. So his wallpaper is from Realm of Magic and very pretty, I might add. The floor is from Realm of Magic as well. The vampires have vampire flooring and vampire walls. And the rest of it is just much better looking than the random yellow everywhere. I'm just not a fan of yellow and blue carpeting. It was blue carpeting and yellow furniture. And of course we have Caleb's bar and I actually got him into the mixology career. Right now he's just in culinary arts pretty much. Once he gets to a certain point I am going to have him go to the mixology branch just because I know that he really enjoys making drinks because anytime I have him in a save file he immediately learns how to make stuff and goes to the bar and does it. Speaking of I should probably have him make some drinks for his job and then we'll go and start biting more people. In the process of me having her become a player there were a lot of people who were turning into vampires as she was going around so I don't think we're gonna have a whole bunch of those today like we normally do. Oh yeah and we did the humor and hijinks festival again and she won so she got all this lovely stuff. Fireworks and then a mic. Oh, this isn't fair. When I had her going all over the place freaking doing dates and stuff with people, there were a ton of people she hadn't turned yet. She's wearing- oh wait, okay, wait, wait, hold on. She's wearing a Day of the Dead mask, which is fine. She's wearing a bathing suit with stockings and boots. Are you kidding me? What is this? Wow. Okay. Anyway, whatever floats your boat, miss. There's that ghost again over there the one that I could apparently deprive his bladder needs, despite him being a ghost and not actually needing to pee. Wait, is it- wait, what? His name is Walker. <laughs> Texas Ranger! Okay, so these are some perfectly normal looking people here, meaning they're most likely- oh my god, it's Bob Pancakes? When did you start wearing a turban? All right then, might want to start wearing a cape too since you're gonna be a vampire here soon. Where are you going? I still need to bite you, come back. What are you doing? Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? What is going on? Why is every, why are you, what? Oh, that's Katarina. Yes, we need to get her. Ah oh, man, Katarina's gone, that sucks. <laughs> she woke her up and then ran away. What do you why are you just staring at her? Are you just gonna telepathically turn her into a vampire? I mean, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what is going on? That name will always stick with me just because of the fact that, like, it reminds me of Jeffrey Star because he's always saying, I'm shook. What are you doing? You're just staring at a piece of art. You have a job to do. Get it done. Your prey is running away in a very prancy kind of style as well. What are you doing? Aw, this person answered a phone call and then she started walking around sadly. It's like a sitcom and I am the really annoying narrator. Kiss a boy. <laughs> <laughs> She's flirty just from turning all these people. She's like, mm, I do love making people's lives a living hell. Oh, it's, it's uh, Thanksgiving. That's nice. Let's decorate, I guess. That's what all the other good people are doing or something like that. Caleb, you make food because you're good at making food, sort of. Turkey dinner! Yay! 
even though no one in the house can eat it. Well, actually, Caleb can eat it. Actually, everyone can eat it except for Maureen, I just realized. She's the only one that'll get a stomach ache if she eats it, so that's nice. Well, where did she go? <laughs> I looked away from the screen for a second and she disappeared. Jeez, when I said you were good at cooking, I didn't realize you were that good. Do you make a habit of talking to the food that you're making? We put this on the table and we call to meal, Caleb. Call to grand meal. You are calling the window to the meal. I'm sure the window is very hungry. Thank you, Caleb. That was nice of you. Yeah, she's not feeling so great. Um, she's like, uh huh, shut up. I don't feel well. I don't want to deal with you. Caleb's confused. <laughs> nice. Oh, here we go. Here's another one that she was flirting with. Let's see if we can do it now. Yep, can't do it. <laughs> I should get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for trying to bite me. I really appreciate it. This is kind of boring just sitting here. Why are you thinking about underwear? What was that? He's like, I need to buy myself a new pair of boxers. Did he just hit himself in the head with a book? All right, so now it is after 8 p.m. So I'm going to have her wake up and go torment some more people. I should make a soap opera? Oh boy. <laughs> Oh yeah, and this guy, Morgan, he uh, set himself on fire when he was trying to cook something and Caleb had to put him out. <laughs> so there's that. Funny. Oh, but. Okay, cool. Whoa, oh, here's one. We finally have someone else being turned. Cool, yep. So the next one's gonna be this one. And she can't, and once again, she can't, yeah. We have to be indoors, I guess, like I said. Why are you wearing cat ears? His dark form has cat ears. Are you kidding me? So who is turning into a vampire now? Oh, he is. That's good, because I turn them at the same time, so. I heard earlier that we might get thunderstorms tonight. Oh, they're south? No! <laughs> but I want the actual storms, dang it. Bring the storms to me! Okay, what's going on here? That's where the gnomes were. Why are you following her? Bob Pancakes is literally everywhere. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Wait, were you flirting with... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Pancakes. Well, now you're a vampy, Bob Pancakes. Congratulations. Th this is great. It's a puff turning into a vampire. <laughs> It's literally nothing. It's like no one. There's no one here, even though there is. What is causing all these lag spikes all of a sudden? What is going on? Why is this happening? I lost the chat on my broadcaster. And after that, then the game started lagging. And I don't know why that's happening. It, there's literally no reason for this at all. <sighs> okay, you know what? I'm just going to stop. Call it a night because the lag is getting really out of hand and I'm getting kind of frustrated with it. I'll be back again soon. Thank you for turning, tuning in and have a good night. Bye.